Marine Harvest presented their first quarter results on Wednesday. Their result was lower than last year, but the company reports of a stronger salmon market than expected. In uh, the first quarter, uh, the supply uh, increased with 10.5% on a global scale. Uh, and even though the price was down compared to the first quarter of 2017, we saw a uh, uh, gradually increasing price to a very high level towards the end of the quarter and a continuously increasing price into the second quarter. So all in all, we see very strong growth in all markets. The company is not satisfied with the price they achieved for their Chilean salmon. Just as now the lowest production cost in Chile, but we are not making the money we would like to make per, uh, in terms of EBIT per kilo. So we need to increase the price uh, per kilo in, in, in Chile. I think it's very important that the industry take a stand on, you know, we're going to go towards zero use of antibiotics, uh, we're going to improve uh, the industry regulations. And by doing that and, and working towards that, we will increase uh, the price of Chilean salmon uh, in the long term. Norway is Marine Harvest's biggest region with more than half of the guided volume this year. I, I think uh, the reason why we lowered the garden slightly is that the, the temperature in Norway was, uh, it's been a very cold winter. So that is the main reason for that. Uh, we do not speculate in increased uh, MAB sale or anything. What, what we see is 2% uh, has been allocated. We have got our part of that, but it does make a big difference in the volume side. The company's stock price has doubled in three months. Today is stable. So it's uh, it's within uh, the expectations we had uh, before the report. Uh, total volumes are, are uh, down to 2.4% and and that is within the 2, two to 3% range we expected. Um, uh, other things on the negative side is the, is costs. Cost level is seen slightly up in both Norway and Chile and Ireland in, in, in the second quarter, which is slightly negative from a, from an estimate perspective. Um, on the positive side, uh, dividend is is up at uh, 2.6 Norwegian crowns, which is approximately 20 euro or cents higher than both we and the market expected. So, in total, I would say that the report is relatively neutral uh, but there are maybe some negative ele elements uh, related to the cost level and of course the, the volume volume guidance okay.